A woman who lives in New Orleans is anxiously watching the updates tonight from Sheboygan while her husband rides out the storm in their home down south. Jessica Maduker has their story. Caitlin Orion is a traveling hairstylist originally from Sheboygan, but now calls New Orleans home. Her work brings her here to southeast Wisconsin. She was supposed to fly back before the storm hit, but her flight got bumped and now she doesn't know when she'll be able to head back home. And then it started getting closer. I'm like, oh, my flight might be canceled to come home. She wasn't too worried, but then in a matter of hours, her phone started buzzing. The city of New Orleans is issuing a mandatory evacuation and then it just the Categories just kept going up and up and up like every couple hours. Reaching a category four, leaving her husband and two dogs to hunker down while she watches and waits. Being here and being stuck and not necessarily like knowing what's going on or like if something does happen because I know it's very possible that cell service could go down and I won't be able to get in contact with him. Currently, her husband Luis has no power, internet access and very limited cell service. Pretty much barricaded ourselves in ish because um, that way like nothing's flying around. This video captured in between moments Luis had a chance to step out. Um, well, currently situation is powers out. Um, our generator is only capable of handling a chest freezer, a fridge and probably two air conditioning units. So going to be limited to what we can power up. For as long as he has cell service, his only access to news of any sort during this storm is by calling his wife in Sheboygan for information. All emergency first responder lines in New Orleans have been suspended until daylight tomorrow. Caitlin fears the potential of losing contact, but is hoping for the best. Bye, babe. I love you. Bye, honey. I love you, too. Be safe. And Caitlin has updated me that she does have a Tuesday flight set up, but the airline has already sent out a proactive warning to expect delay. So only time will tell as to when she will be able to reunite with her husband and two dogs. For now, reporting at Mitchell Airport, Jessica Maduker, TMJ4 News.